welcome all to the KM Academy. So, in today's video, we will discuss one problem which is based on dipole moment, and this problem came for NEET 2019 Odisha exam. Okay, so the problem is which of the following is the correct order of dipole moment? Okay, so they have given four different molecules and they are asking you the increasing order of dipole moment that is lowest to highest. So, first of all, uh, we will discuss each and every molecule, okay, its structure and how dipole moment is determined, and then we will arrange them in the particular order. Okay, now you know that dipole moment, dipole moment. is a vector quantity dipole moment is a vector quantity okay and it follows the laws of addition of vectors okay there are different laws like triangle law parallelogram law of vector addition so in these uh, we will discuss how these vectors lie towards which atom usually remember that the dipole moment vector always lies towards the electronegative atom and if there is a lone pair, it lies towards the orientation of your lone pair. Okay, this is the direction of dipole moment vector. Okay, now let's have uh, the symmetric molecule in given uh, like four molecules is BF3. This is the most symmetric molecule among the given molecules. Most symmetric molecule because here BF3 here. In BF3, boron is having sp2 hybridization. Boron is having sp2 hybridization. As you know, boron is having only three valence electron, and all three valence electron are utilized in bonding. That means what? The steric number for BF3 is three, and for steric number three, we have hybridization sp2. So from this hybridization, it is clear that BF3 is trigonal planar molecule. Trigonal planar okay and as the molecule is trigonal planar the structure will be like this boron fluorine fluorine and fluorine the bond angle between these boron fluorine uh, bond will be a 120 degree okay and therefore as this is the most symmetric molecule these are the direction of dipole moment vector like this and according to triangle law of vector addition according to triangle law of vector addition these two vectors shows the resultant vector in this direction these two vectors shows resultant vector in this direction and these two vectors shows resultant vector in this direction overall you can see there is a symmetric distribution of the electron cloud around the boron therefore, therefore we can simply say that as this is the most symmetric distribution the molecule overall has zero dipole moment so in such case mu is equal to zero due to most symmetric geometry that means what this BF3 should have the least dipole moment so as you can see in option b and c in option b and c the least dipole moment that is bf3 the first now we'll see water molecule so water molecule is a bent shape okay water molecule is a bent shape having sp3 hybridization as it is a bent shape the structure will be like this o h h and these two will be the lone pair okay on the oxygen so here this OH bond dipole moment, moment vector will be towards oxygen. This OH bond vector is also towards oxygen. These vectors towards the lone pair and overall these vectors are or oriented in the same direction. So they will get added and we get the resultant vector having very large magnitude. Therefore, we can simply say in all these examples, the highest dipole moment, highest dipole moment is this highest mu value therefore the lowest mu that is 0 is a BF3 and the highest mu that is water molecule is a okay therefore in B and C option again you can see at the end you can see water molecule here that means water is having highest dipole moment so both options seems to be correct still now now we will check among these two NH3 and NF3 and then we can finalize our answer okay let us uh, talk about the structures of NH3 that is ammonia and NF3 that is nitrogen trifluoride. In both NH3, NH3 and NF3, we can say that there is a one lone pair on the nitrogen. Because in water there were two lone pairs, we were having the highest dipole moment 
okay now here we have one uh, one uh, lone pair so it will have the less dipole moment compared with the water okay that's why water is highest now we are comparing between these two remaining so nsp and nf3 both are having one lone pair three bond pair so therefore geometry as well as hybridization is similar in both the examples let us draw their structures nh3 trigonal pyramidal geometry oh, sorry trigonal pyramidal shape and geometry is tetrahedral okay this is geometry now for nf3 and f3 a similar geometry is being observed one difference will be there here we have hydrogen atom bonded with the nitrogen and here we have fluorine atom bonded with the nitrogen now as you know that nitrogen is more electronegative compared with hydrogen so this will be the direction of dipole moment vector here also this will be the dipole moment vector direction and this will be the direction of dipole moment vector and from lone pair it will be like like this so all vectors are like pointing towards the same axis same direction therefore the net dipole moment will be high if you consider this molecule fluorine is the more electronegative atom so dipole moment vector will lie towards fluorine atom and this vector will lie towards the lone pair so as these three vectors are added in this direction and this fourth vector is in this direction that means what the direction of the two vectors are opposite that's why these two vectors cancels each other to certain extent therefore although mu is not equal to 0 but still mu will be less compared with the ammonia molecule so here mu ammonia mu nh3 that is dipole moment okay of the ammonia will be greater than uh, mu value of mu value of nf3 okay mu value of nf3 will be greater uh, sorry nh3 will be greater the reason is only i told you this lone pair and the dipole moment vector are in the same direction okay bond vectors here the bond vectors and the lone pair vector are opposite to each other therefore overall it will have lesser dipole moment vector therefore it is now fixed that ammonia will be the second therefore option b is the correct so there was confusion between these two only these two were much crystal clear okay so in this way you can decide the dipole moment of the molecule and then you can arrange them in the particular order so this is basically depend on the structure and structure depends on the hybridization so first thing if you are clear with the hybridization you can solve such problems very easily okay so that's it for today See you in the next video.